So now that you know the backstory, here's a tutorial on how to make winter into summer in Blender. Hello, my name is Ian, and last September I had the awesome experience of being able to shoot a short film. Now throughout October I worked a lot on the rough edit, and it was pretty much finished by the time November had rolled around. That is when I realized I had a pretty big problem, and that problem was that in the final scene, the most important part, it wasn't really working and I needed some extra shots to make it work. Are you okay with like a little stick coming at you? I the railroad spike, huh? Okay. <laughs> Now Jer, the actor I was working with, is a super cool guy, and he agreed to come back and reshoot some stuff. So that solved one problem of actually making the movie good, but the second problem that we ran into was that it was November, and the leaves were all dead and off the trees, and there wasn't any greenery to be seen, pretty much. So now that you know the backstory, here's a tutorial on how to make winter into summer in Blender. So this particular shot had a moving camera, and the first step was to track that camera. There were some pretty solid trees to track, so that was great. The main settings I made sure were in there was my camera's sensor size and the lens's focal length. And that ended up being a pretty solid camera solve. I also ended up tracking Jer and some parts of the background, just so that I'd have something to parent masks to. Since I had several foreground elements that I wanted the foliage to go behind, a majority of my time was spent on making really precise masks so that these foreground elements could properly appear in front of the CG elements. And as for those CG elements, I did this shot in 4K, so I really didn't want to spend a huge amount of time rendering the light paths. So the solution there was to render several 2D elements of grass and trees and just give it some variation. And since those were pre-rendered, they just ended up being emission planes in the final scene. Now for compositing, I had my original movie clip, I had a couple of CG layers of greenery, and then of course I had all of my masks that I merged together, and that pretty much all fed into an alpha over. I used two layers of greenery so that it could kind of sandwich Jer in between them and kind of make him look more like he was actually inside summer. <laughs> okay, I just watched the edit back and realized that was really more of a breakdown than a tutorial. So if you want to learn more in depth about any of these particular steps, just comment and let me know and I could do a more in-depth tutorial. I've had a lot of tutorial ideas stacked up for a long time, so I'm really excited to actually release the short films so I can share those ideas with you. Um, I don't say this very often, but I do have a mailing list, and if you'd like to keep up to date on when that release is happening and more tutorials in the future, there's a link in the description that says get the smoke asset pack for free, and this smoke asset pack is a gift from me to you. It's just a super handy pack of things that I use all the time, and it's really good for adding life to your scene. I realize that's probably not the best pitch ever, but hey, there, there it is.